Hi, today is day 207. Ooh, I have faster internet. Ooh, I can just feel the difference. We have another VN on the board. Interesting, what do I do here? Oh, I can't do this, right? Yeah, I've done this before. I've done this before. I've done this before. I think I'll just get out of the way. And castle. Mm. Okay. It's playing pretty fast, but I essentially want to just go for this. And ask a queen to move. So I think I will hit the queen with tempo. Nice. Now I want to kick the bishop out. D5. Right, take and then d5. No, if I take now, the queen will take. Gonna come and give me a check, but I clever that square. So yes, no checks for you. No checks for you. And now I kind of want to castle, yeah. Just castle. Also, pinning the knight is a fun option. So let's do it. Let's make them double up their pawns in front of their king, like our game from last night. I mean, I like my knight here too. This comes with Chuck. I like my knight here too. I'm partial to my knights, yeah? But I also love my bishops. What to do, what to do, what to do. You know, if I take this now, my knight is already in position to attack it. But I also like my bishops. Let's take, let's take like this. And, oof, now I actually want a pawn, so. Very nice. <laughs> Yay, very nice. And now the king is a thing naked. I could also go back. But why not defend while preparing something? Right? Why not defend while preparing this already? Yep, this is a pin. So queen g3 would be a threat. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, uh, he wants to reverse uno me, yeah? He wants to reverse uno me. If I just go here now, even if you take, 
I think this will be a huge problem. I just calculate this, but if you take right, this is this will be a huge problem. Unless he does this, but then I can just take. Yeah, this is a huge problem. I'm gonna go for it immediately. I'm gonna ignore the threat on this pawn. This is the biggest threat. Oh, hot damn. I was going to be like, I was calculating a line where if the king comes here, I want to even sack the bishop just to lure him here. Although what that concretely leads to, I'm not sure. But uh, this should be winning for me, yeah? All right, let's just double check this is a thing. Let's go. He missed this. And mate incoming. So hot. So fucking hot. I love it. Yes. Yes, baby. Yes, baby. All right. <laughs> nice. That felt amazing. That felt amazing. All right, let's do a review. Okay, what, what is the best move here? Already preparing the nasty push, the central push. I was thinking about this. I was not sure about blocking off the square for my knight to hop to because I kind of wanted to develop the knight while hitting the queen. We had to develop the other knight. Yeah, great. We have a sequence of three great moves in a row. But this just plays itself at this point. It's very cute. Very cute stuff. Already wants a pin. Um... So yeah. Here I take a little longer deliberating that than necessary, I think. Oh, it wants my knight to get out of the way. What's the point of knight h5? Let's just take a look. Knight h5, apparently, it looks like uh, knight h5 simply releases this diagonal for the queen, right? But what if this, I want to know. I want to know. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I think queen h4. I can't see the king escaping from this. Yeah, let's just try it out. The analysis died. But I'm thinking queen h4. And I don't know if that's the best move. Where did my analysis go? <laughs> it like died. <laughs> okay, there it is. Uh... Bishop takes f2. Oh my god. Oh my god. First bishop takes. Queen h4 is the second best move. Let's check out the first sexy line. Let's just take a look, yeah? I never considered sacking this bishop first. I assume now queen h4 comes with more potential, more potency. Because, like, essentially he's cut off. He's cut off from home. If he comes back, he gets mated. So he's cut off, and... As he's cut off, now I can deliver all kinds of things to him. King g3, I assume he wants to keep running. Keep running for dear life. Now we pick up, do we pick up a rook? No, knight f1. Knight f1. Keep it up. Just keeping it up. Keeping it up. And how do I continue this? Oh, I hate it when they give us just repeats. Just get the rook into the action. And is that mate? It's not mate. They can keep blocking, but that's mate. Okay, that was pretty hot. I mean, I, I did not see that, Zach. I did not see it. Yeah, I never considered it. That's really cool. Let's see the second move that we played, the queen move. Okay. Yeah, I guess I'll just go for activity at all costs. Screw the pawn. We're going to get up in there. Because this isn't an accuracy, but this is like the second best move. So what do you want? Jesus. I guess this is not as great. 
but I still can just take it. But at this point, it wants them to give up the queen. I mean, this is game over, y'all. This, this move is just as fine. All right, but let's go back to the game and what I did. So at this point, I think I was still like being a little cautious. Still trying to protect my pawns while going for the attack. And, but here I was already eyeing this, yeah? Here I was already, this was a threat. Even with the best defense, I think they're still lost. Apparently that was a big mistake. The best move, yeah, was to push, which, yeah, what, what would I have done if they had just pushed, man? If they had just pushed, what would I do? Hmm. Yeah, this is not as great. Mm hmm This is not as great. Was I just banking on them not seeing it? Uh, I'll just bring on more attackers, bring on more forces. Yeah, maybe I was just banking on them not seeing it, but I guess if they had push upon, which I didn't fully calculate, yeah, that my attack would have been slower. That's why the sharpest, like the most forceful attack that I had back here was not preparing so much, but already just opening up, already just opening up. And after we open up, right? After we open up, we're ready to sacking shit. Already coming in for the sacks. That's actually really nice. That's really nice. Just saying that the king can't stay alive here, but if he runs, he can't stay alive either. Really nice stuff. Yeah. Really nice stuff. Okay, cool. <laughs> that was cool. And honestly, I kind of want to stop. Even though it's this would be like such a short video. This would be so short. What do you think I should do? You should win guys in that heel. How does you feel? Have a logo, yeah. All right. <laughs> My friend tells me to continue, <laughs> so let's continue. <laughs> and she's bringing the cat over. Oh, oh, oh man! Oh, check this out. We got a special guest featuring oh. my my friend and their cat hey. <laughs> in chinese jiayou means um keep it up or like yay or it's like used for cheering uh it basically means add oil and i can't find an equivalent expression in english it's like yeah add keep oil, it up keep it up you can do it good job Yo, go, go. <laughs> Okay. Cool. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> Yay. That was very sweet. Um She's my brother's wife, actually. Morocco. Ooh, should we smith more of them? I don't know. I don't know. I'm getting a little hungry, so maybe we're just gonna <laughs> it's the truth <laughs> it's just the truth okay i actually don't know what to do here should i just keep going should i kick him out if i kick him out where's he gonna go i don't know about this i feel like i'm getting trapped i feel like this is some line that they know and i don't hmm All right. I mean, should I just push? Uh, let's go for it. Takes a stop the night. Oh, we don't stop anything. I could keep pushing. Right? Oh. So scary. So scary. I could also go here. Oh, I see. They're double attacking these guys. 
We're double attacking these guys, yeah. How about this? Oh, I don't know what that does right now. I go here, they go here, I go here. I could also go here if they take, I, f I pin him. Bro. Bro, sharp stuff. I could have also played a four maybe, I don't know. We kind of just want to develop as usual. Yeah. Yeah, now we want to do this. If he goes here now, I may be able to opposite you or something. As long as I'm not getting freaking chucked or something or othered, I think I'm okay. Right? Very frisky. Very frisky. Um, but this would be hang, would it not? I'm just gonna develop everything. If you take this now, this would be mate. It's not mate. Oh hot damn. I'm so excited by this. I'm so excited by this. It's not mate, but it's uh it's pretty fucking good. <laughs> Fuck yes, now we win a piece. Give it to me. Give it to me, baby. All right, GG. That was hot. This is why you don't get your queen out too early in the game. Okay, thank you. Now I'll just exchange everything. And claim that I'm better, which I am. But we still gotta convert this. So let's go. Where should I go? I'm not sure where I should go. Right, saw that coming. I'm gonna castle. I'm still gonna castle. And I'm gonna actually, okay, he stopped me from doing that. I'm gonna castle. Very, very nice. We're gonna exchange more pieces. The more pieces I exchange, the better I feel. You feel me? I just feel much better. I just feel I'm up a piece. How could life go wrong? You feel me? How could life be wrong? Mm-hmm. Eh, maybe I didn't think about that hard enough, but I can just come back. Just come back. <laughs> yeah. This pawn on e5 is actually really nice because it stops them from pushing. Very sexy. Let's get him. Get him. Get him. Move. Yes. This is how I like it. Um, let's create some luft and protect him and protect him. And I think it's GG. Activate the king. Oh yeah, unfortunately I let go of the little trump card. Let's activate the king. I don't know why he doesn't activate his king. Let's keep it up. Stop him from coming further. Okay. This is very easily defended. Um. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? Let's keep it up. 
maybe go here, but then the king goes here. And then I just claim they're more passive. Still is fine. Interesting. They do have two central pass pawns. So we should be a little careful. Hmm, wouldn't I love to exchange? Oh, well, they're planning on pushing this, yeah. Um. Ooh, getting active. <laughs> getting active. Let's give a chug. Mm, I would love to get up in there. How do I do it, man? How about this? I go here. I mean, I don't know. I don't want to get too frisky. Thank God I still have enough time. I was like, we are down on time, but we're not that down on time. So, um, this should be good. Should be good. Okay, now that he does this, I feel like... I guess I gave him some squares to work with. Hmm. A rook is a little passive. Yeah. Rook is a little passive. Let's stop him from moving so that I can activate my bishop again. Mm-hmm. This is a thing, this is a threat. Ooh, la la. What is going on here? Let's hit this first. Okay, if I hit this, he gives me a chuck. I come on up. I think I'm better. Let's go. Unless I can't catch this pawn somehow, then I would be worse. So he can give me a chuck, and... You know what, I think I'm still better. If the pawn runs, I have this chuck. Yeah. I'm still better. I'm still better. I can still catch him. Now he's on a light square. Very nice. We force him to incur some weakos. Oh, hot damn. All right, I'm not gonna miss the tactic this time. We're not gonna miss it this time. I remember one of those games, I like freaking missed a free rook and he doesn't resign. So let's keep going. Thank you. <laughs> Fuck yes. All right. Very nice. Okay. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I did consider d4, but better late than never. These people are too frisky with their queens, man. They're too frisky with the queen. Too frisky with the queen. I considered that, did I? What is the point of b4 first? Like, luring the queen closer? 
what's the point of this oh oh to lure the queen closer so that now so that now when we play this she can't even defend checkmate is that the point let's just take a look let's take a look what's that a nasty intention behind b4 we're so winning from b4 the nasty intention um, is that we straight up just win a piece the point is i think she can't i think if we just retrace our steps Right, I think if we go here, apparently this is losing, or we just lost our edge. Why so? Why so? Why so? You still have to defend against these threats, yeah? Why so? Why do we just lose our edge? Why is this a big mistake? Can I figure it out? I don't, I don't see if I, I don't see it. It's a queen b2? No, knight b6? Knight b6. Ah, knight b6 defends and gets out of the way. What a sneaky move. Who could have seen this? I didn't see that at all. Oh no, they didn't either, but like they didn't see the threat of this. Oh, what a sexy move. What a sexy retreating knight move that both defends the freaking mate threat and gets out of the way from being took wow what a sexy move i'm impressed that's a that's a really nice move that's a really nice move but if we had continued that line with bishop d2 if we just continue this we're we're much better but that would require me to see freaking knight b6 but i don't but i didn't say that's a really that's a really nice line um it just wins it just forces winning the piece oh reverse uno very sexy oh look at all these look at these double threats on the queen very nice very nice okay let's keep reviewing let's keep reviewing i'm kind of i mean i, I like how it happened anyway i like how we did this because the threats were all there um, yeah, he still had to see my mate threat. You know, that's the only way. If he had gone back, then we're still better. I think it's just because we're better developed, right? The queen, yeah, the queen should not get too frisky. And no, I want to check out that line. I want to check out the line. Show me the line. Okay. Okay, so we're still hitting friggin' C6 from here. But knight A6. And I guess their pieces are weird on the side of the board. <laughs> it's like the queen decided to hold a little party over here with her knight friends. The queen decided to hold a little party. And queen E4 now. I mean, I honestly would want to develop and just castle, but I want us to centralize the queen. It's like while they're having their little insurrection over here, we are centralizing and taking over the whole board, taking over the field. Okay. Something like that, just natural development. The queen is still going to have to waste a few tempi trying to trade herself off. We ignore her just castle and i guess we're just better after this because we're just more centralized is that just what we're claiming is that what we're claiming we control d6 they control d5 that's a weird little thing it's a weird little thing i don't know why we're so much better honestly but we are um they're even up upon but anyway let's go back to the game i went down that rabbit hole a little bit Basically, we saw what happened in the game is they got pinned and then they lose a piece. So after this, was just simple, simple cakes. I think I could have converted the middle part smoother. Um, my opponent did not really try to hold on to his pieces. We pretty much just allowed me to trade off, which after this, you know, I let their center pawns get a little crazy. Um, I 
Okay, yeah, that's natural. Kick him out. Okay. Yeah, this whole thing was going back and forth. I'm mean, just like, yeah, I'm not sure about. But um, you have to be very careful when your opponent has a colored bishop. You know, you have to be very careful about going to those colored squares. It's like very careful when your king is on the same colored square because uh, this might happen. All right, GG. And we are being patriotic again. <laughs> but hopefully that's the last I see of him. And with that, adios, good night. We even saw a cat today. Yay. <laughs> adios. Okay. Um, just to say a few more words, because last night I was all being like, oh, oh. I'll tell you something funny. Well, like today in like the courtyard, I saw a bunch of like older women like doing a dance. <laughs> <laughs> they're doing like their gymnastics and there was this like one lady who was like being really extra <laughs> it was just funny because like i love and in chinese it's called guan chuan wu which is um literally like a plaza dance like people dance outside in a courtyard or a plaza or next to a lake or whatever there's like a public space um you often dance after dinner or in the evening or sometimes in the morning like somebody plays music and then a huge crowd gathers and starts dancing. That was really, really commonplace when I was little. And now it's very rare to see where I am now. In some cities you still see it and I'm very, very happy whenever I come across it because it feels like such a communal spirit, you know? it's You feel like the energy in the crowd. You feel everyone doing a shared activity out of joy and there's like a sense of civil society, a sense of connection. So I really love it. But um, I haven't been able to do it in a very long time. <laughs> but yeah, but anyway, I was just looking at the crowd and it was so funny. It was like, everybody else was like, they're just like, you know, like, because they're old, you know, they're old. And the one lady was like, <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> viva la vida. <laughs> You're like, oh. <laughs> She's like the spirited one. <laughs> so like, who are you in the crowd? Are you the type to hide and just like, kind of just like, uh, just like do whatever? Or are you the type to give it your like 200%? <laughs> Be the extra one. Be extra. All right, good night. <laughs>